Hi and welcome to Project and Things. My name is Eve. This week I turned an old paddle go-kart electric using one of those electric screw guns. The whole idea for this started when I found one of these old pedal go-karts online for almost no money. I wanted it to be as light as possible so I took off all the parts that were not needed. But the whole pedal and chain system also had to go. And for the propulsion system, I was thinking about the original plastic wheels would be impossible. Before assembling anything again, I put all the old bolts and screws and washers in a bit of vinegar. And this is what vinegar does to rust. The first step in making this was going to be the drivetrain, which was essentially this battery-driven screwdriver strapped to a piece of plywood. To do that, I needed to secure the screw gun in place. I drew out the general shape of the holders and I cut it out with an X-Acto knife. Then using some spray adhesive, I attached this to a piece of pine to cut them out as precisely as possible. This way I could cut out the rough shape and finish it off with a sanding block. Then it was time to assemble this first piece. I glued the two stop blocks into place and secured them with clamps while the glue dried. The next part was making a new back axle and back wheels. I used two centimeter wide aluminum tubing, two wheels for a wheelbarrow, and some pipe clamps. The pipe clamps are used to hold down these plastic things so that the wheel can't shift left or right. And then since this toy is meant for my son, he decided to come and help out. We sanded down the sharp parts of the aluminum and attached the second wheel.
Then I reassembled the back wheels in this amazingly informative shot. Until my son decided that flipping the go-kart over would be a lot easier. Some of these iron strips were used to securely hold the screw gun down. And then I built the box under the seat to hold the whole contraption. This box has only one purpose, to hold a long piece of alt thread that I can use to tighten the screw gun against the tire to give it friction to turn. I made space for the all thread bar to go through and then I glued up the box. Then I painted the box gold, because it looks a lot fancier. And now you're about to hear the best sound in the universe as the piece of all thread goes through the box. steps was to give this machine a gas pedal and a brake pedal. And here's the brake pedal mechanism. It has some sandpaper on the back to give it more grip on the tire when it gets pushed. Some more of this iron banding was used to strap everything together. And the last step was to make the gas pedal and the whole acceleration contraption. My neighbor was so nice to give me one of these clamps, which actually gave the mechanism to get the gas pedal to go back and forth. Screw the gas pedal down and put a stop block into place. The gas pedal only has one function and that is to pull a wire through the go-kart to the back where as the gas pedal goes down it squeezes the trigger on the screw gun and the whole machine gets set in motion. I tried a few different wires but ended up landing on the grey brake cable that you can see here which ended up working the best. I had to make a hole in the back for air to be able to be sucked in and through the machine so it wouldn't get overheated. And there you see the gas pedal in action. Et voila! This is it. Uh, my son thinks it's fantastic. He helped me build it a little bit and then he got to go for his first test drive. And here's what that looked like.
am so happy with this thing and the look on my son's face was priceless when he first drove it. So I am a pretty happy father right now. I just wanted to mention that I have a few social media channels. They are linked in the description below if you want to follow along with projects as they're being made. And I would also like to ask you that if you dig what I'm doing, please hit the subscribe button. This gets these videos out to more people, which is ultimately my goal. So thank you very much for watching. Until next time, bye.